just wanted to touch on the busyness as well, Matt. Matt, I love your story and, and honestly, and your feedback on busyness. In fact, Angel and I, one of the ways that we got so heavily into mindfulness was our realization of how busy we were starting our mornings. We were literally waking up, we caught ourselves waking up and checking our smartphones. And this is a, several years ago before the smartphones were actually as smart as they are today. Um, but we were checking our smartphones right after waking up, before we even kissed each other. Right? But that was the foundation of our morning. Oh, what's happening on email? What's happening on social media? And that, that mentality, that busyness that you're talking about, we were missing each other, right? We were missing the important conversations in the morning. And now that we have a son, we'd be missing our interactions with our son. Um, starting your morning on with that kind of mindset, we realized snowballed into everything else because we were waking up mindless and it was just like we were just going through the motions without being mindful about what we were doing, without being intentional. Um, you know, it, it reminds me of like, you know, a situation where if, if, you're, if you're starting your day like that and, and your kid takes a, I don't know, the milk out of the refrigerator, right? The famous cliche of, you know, spilled milk and your, your son was to drop that milk on the floor and you're in a rush because you've started off the day just looking at all this stuff but not really paying attention to what you're doing. Your natural reaction is going to be, let's get upset. Oh my God, why did you do that? You know, and you're going to dive in there and you're going to, you know, might whap up real quick, maybe snap. Um, and your child's going to be left with his head spinning. What's going on here? Um, when being more mindful, not starting the day with that, that idea of rushing and let's look at what, everything else that's going on around us, but just being present with what it is, it gives you the chance to mop up that milk, put it back in the refrigerator, look at your child and say, you know, let me help you, let's try that again. Right? It's just a different, it's, it's the same, the same event occurs, but the outcome is so drastically different. Um, and this is one of the reasons Angel and I actually started a meditation practice. I know some people have mentioned meditation in here. It's something we do every single morning for 15 minutes. For no other reason than just to sit with ourselves and be present, to be mindful, to kind of start that day focused on the inside, and then, you know, let that radiate out to the next task. It's not that we don't have something planned that's next, it's important, we do, but we make the space to start on ourselves and then we carry that forward. So just a suggestion for everybody, it's something that's worked really well for us, it's worked wonders over the last several years, so I want to throw that out there for you.